Let me tell you, I've seen it all in real estate. From fixer-uppers to skyscrapers, I know a good deal when I see one. But the game is changing, and you need to keep up, or you'll get left in the dust. The latest big thing is something called tokenization. It sounds complicated, but it's simpler than you think. Imagine you own a big, beautiful apartment building worth millions. You can't just sell a single brick or a window to an investor, can you? Well, with tokenization, you almost can. It's a way to take a physical property and chop it up into tiny digital pieces, like a pizza cut into a thousand slices. Each slice is a token. These tokens are digital certificates that prove you own a small piece of that building. They live on a secure digital ledger called a blockchain which is just a fancy super safe online record book. So instead of one person owning the whole building, hundreds or even thousands of people can own a small part of it. Think of it like owning a share of stock in a company like Apple or Google. You don't own the whole company, but you own a piece of it, and your share has value. Tokenization does the exact same thing for a real, tangible property like a commercial building or a luxury condo. It's real estate for the 21st century. This whole idea opens up doors that were slammed shut for most people. For years, investing in big-time real estate was a rich person's game. You needed hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, just to get a seat at the table. Tokenization kicks that door wide open. Now, someone with a much smaller amount of money can buy a few tokens and become a part owner of a prime piece of real estate. They get to share in the rental income and any appreciation in the property's value, all without having to buy the entire building. It's about making a very exclusive club accessible to everyone. So, when you hear the word tokenization, don't let it scare you. It's not some tech mumbo-jumbo for computer geniuses. It's a straightforward tool that uses technology to make real estate investing more flexible, accessible, and democratic. It's about taking something big and expensive and making it small and affordable. This allows you to diversify your portfolio without needing a massive bankroll. It's a new way to play an old game, and if you're smart, you'll pay close attention to how it's shaking up the entire industry. It's a fantastic way to get your foot in the door of a market that was previously locked tight. All right, so you're interested, you have a property or you want to invest in one and this token idea sounds good. How does it actually work? Let's walk through it step by step. First, you can't just decide to tokenize your house on a whim. The property needs to be placed into a legal entity, usually a limited liability company or a similar special purpose vehicle. This company now legally owns the building. This step is crucial because you're not tokenizing the physical bricks and mortar directly. You're tokenizing the ownership shares of the company that owns the bricks and mortar. It creates a clean legal structure for everyone involved. Once the property is snug in its new legal home, it's time to bring in the experts. You'll need to work with a tokenization platform or company. These are the tech gurus who handle the complicated stuff. They will perform due diligence on your property, which means they'll check everything from the legal title to the property's valuation to make sure it's a legitimate and sound investment. They help you decide how many tokens to create. For example, if your property is valued at $1 million, you might decide to issue 1 million tokens, each valued at $1. This makes the math simple and the investment easy to understand for buyers. Next comes the technical part, but don't worry, the platform handles it. They use blockchain technology to mint or create the digital tokens. Each token is a unique digital asset that represents a share of ownership in the LLC. All the important details, like the property's address, its value, and the rights of the token holder, are embedded right into the token's code on the blockchain. This makes the whole process transparent and secure. Once the tokens are created, the platform will help you draft an offering document which is like a prospectus for your property. It lays out all the details for potential investors so they know exactly what they are buying. Finally, it's time to sell. The tokens are listed on the platform's marketplace, which functions like a stock exchange for real estate. Investors can browse different properties, review the offering documents, and buy tokens directly using either traditional money or cryptocurrency. As the property owner, you get access to capital from a global pool of investors. As an investor, you get to buy into a property with just a few clicks. The entire process from setting up the LLC to selling the tokens is designed to be streamlined and efficient, taking a traditionally slow and painful process and making it fast and modern. Now for the fun part, why should you even bother with this? What's in it for you? The biggest benefit, without a doubt, is liquidity. 
Traditionally, real estate is one of the most illiquid assets you can own. If you need cash quickly, you can't just sell a bedroom from your four-bedroom house. You have to sell the whole thing, a process that can take months of showings, negotiations, and paperwork. With tokens, that all changes. Because your ownership is represented by digital tokens, you can sell them anytime on a secondary market, just like selling shares of stock. This transforms a clunky, immovable asset into something you can trade with ease. Another huge advantage is fractional ownership. This is what truly opens the door for the average investor. You don't need to be a millionaire to invest in high-value commercial real estate anymore. Instead of needing $2 million to buy a small commercial building, you can invest $2,000 or even less to buy tokens representing a piece of that same building. This allows you to build a diversified real estate portfolio with properties in different cities or even different countries, something that was previously impossible for anyone but the ultra-wealthy. You can own a piece of a Miami condo, a slice of a Dallas office building, and a sliver of a retail shop in Chicago. This system also means greater access to capital for property owners and developers. Instead of relying on a few big-shot investors or going through the painful process of getting a bank loan, a developer can raise money from a much larger global pool of investors. This democratization of fundraising can get projects off the ground that might have otherwise stalled. More investors competing for a project can also lead to better financing terms for the owner. It's a win-win. The developer gets the money they need and small investors get access to deals they were previously shut out of. It's a more efficient way to match capital with opportunity. Finally, let's talk about transparency. Because every transaction is recorded on a blockchain, it's all out in the open. Every token holder can see the ownership records and the rules of the investment are coded directly into the tokens themselves. This significantly reduces the risk of fraud and eliminates many of the middlemen, like brokers and agents, who add costs and complexity to traditional real estate deals. The whole process becomes leaner, faster, and more trustworthy. You know exactly what you own and can verify it on a public ledger. In an industry that has long been criticized for being opaque, this level of clarity is a breath of fresh air. Perfect. 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 I wouldn't be doing my job if I only told you the good stuff. Every great opportunity comes with risks, and tokenization is no exception. The biggest hurdle right now is the regulatory landscape. This technology is new, and governments around the world are still figuring out how to regulate it. The rules can be unclear and can change quickly. Is a real estate token a security, a commodity, something else entirely? The answer can vary by country or even by state, creating legal uncertainty for both issuers and investors. You need to make sure any platform you use is fully compliant with the laws where you operate. Then there's the market risk. Just because a property is tokenized doesn't make it a guaranteed winner. Real estate values can go down as well as up. A downturn in the housing market, a change in neighborhood dynamics, or poor property management can all negatively impact the value of your tokens. Furthermore, the liquidity I mentioned earlier is still theoretical in some cases. For liquidity to be real, there needs to be an active secondary market with plenty of buyers and sellers. Some tokenization platforms are still new and may not have enough trading volume, meaning you could have trouble selling your tokens when you want to. We also have to talk about the technology itself. While blockchain is designed to be secure, it's not invincible. The risk of cyber attacks or smart contract vulnerabilities is real. If the platform you're using has a security flaw, your assets could be at risk. This is why it is absolutely critical to do your homework on the tokenization platform itself. You need to choose a reputable company with a proven track record and robust security measures. Don't just jump on the first platform you find. Vet them as thoroughly as you would vet a business partner. Your investment depends on their competence and integrity. So here's my advice. Start small. Don't bet your life savings on your first tokenized real estate deal. Dip your toe in the water, not your whole body. Educate yourself, understand the technology, and read every word of the legal documents. Diversify your token investments across different properties and platforms to spread out your risk. Tokenization has the potential to completely revolutionize real estate investing and I believe it's the future. But like any smart investor you need to walk in with your eyes wide open, aware of the pitfalls as well as the phenomenal potential. Enjoyed learning about real estate tokenization? Give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends, and hit that subscribe button for more. Drop a comment below if there's any other jargon you'd like us to explain.